Good morning, students. Once again, we are here with you with the class. Today, we'll be talking about the poem "Dust of Snow," a very short poem written by Robert Lee Frost, one of the Romanticism era poet who has written number of poetry. With his wit and the style of writing, Robert Frost had once said, "All that the poem he writes, it writes for his own contentment." So today, when we talk about Robert Frost, the Robert Frost has published all his devices earlier in England, but later on, he published all his works in America. He was born on 26 March 1874, and in number of days he lived, the years he lived, he died 29th January 1963. The present point which we are going to study, that is, dust of snow, would talk about nature's healing. As I said. William Frost normally writes on nature, and he is called nature poet. So today the poetry we try to understand is snow of dust of snow is nature's healing power. William Frost wants to talk about that there is nothing we will to say from a bad mood to ill health. Which cannot be cured or which cannot be healed by the nature. So one day, Robert Frost was not feeling well, so he went out. When he was feeling depressed, feeling low, he saw a hemlock tree, and over him walking a crow, and while. He was walking. Some of the dust of the snow fell on him, and he became happy. Then he thought that his problems, his worries, are not bigger than the nature. Nature has its own supremacy. But interestingly. When we talk about Robert Frost making us happy, but what he has taken the object, the two objects he has taken, they are called negative objects. When we talk about a hemlock tree, it's a poisonous tree, and on the other hand, when we talk about crow, crow normally considered as the symbol of doom and fear, but Robert Frost takes these two to create the. Positive vibration in his audience that whenever we think that something is wrong with us, that something is very low with us, there could be a ray of hope, and that's what Robert Frost is talking about today. We will be talking about we will talk about the rhyming scheme of the poetry that is A B A B and C D C. So this is the rhyming scheme of the poem. When we talk about the poetry, there is no poetry written without the literary devices. So today, in this particular poetry, which are the literary devices are used, we will be discussing all those devices too. So we'll talk about it one by one. Okay? So we'll deal the first devices in detail first. So fine. That's what we were talking about. We said we'll be talking about the literary devices used in the poem. So today, when we talk about the devices, there are four devices used in this particular poem. The first one is called alliteration. What is that? Alliteration. And what is alliteration? The occurrence of the same letter or sound. At the beginning or the adjunct or closely connected words is called alliteration. जब दो sound या दो 
वॉवल एक तरीके के दो वॉवल या दो साउंड एक साथ जुड़े होते हैं या आसपास के शब्दों के साथ जुड़े होते हैं ऐसे डिवाइसेस जब पोइट्री में यूज होते हैं वी डू कॉल देम एलिट्रेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दर्स्टन मी हार्ट एंड सेव समुक Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.